We're really excited for 2016 at the Trade Desk. I, I think, first of all, also really excited to be here in Spain talking about programmatic television uh, tomorrow on stage. Um, I think that topic is, is a very interesting one. It gets a lot of word count in the press, and, uh, and I still think it's, it's fairly early in the programmatic television world, depending on what end of the spectrum you're talking about. Uh, we think about programmatic television really as this, as this spectrum. On one end, you've got stuff that looks a lot like what we do today, digital video kind of bleeding into over the top and uh, streaming services. And then on the far end of the spectrum, you have linear television. And I think depending on which end of the spectrum you're, you're talking about, uh, programmatic is at a, at a very different stage. And I think on the linear end of the spectrum, programmatic may even be the wrong word to describe what we're doing. I think there's a lot of workflow automation and other things that are happening um, on the linear side, utilization of data from a publisher's perspective uh, to help enhance or enrich the buys that, that, that everyone's uh, uh, trying to execute against. But then on the left-hand side of the spectrum, when you're in the OTT and streaming space, it's much more similar to what we do today. And all of this is, from our perspective, uh, as a programmatic buying platform, very, very interesting uh, on the other end of the spectrum. I think you've got wide consumer adoption for over-the-top services and streaming services. It seems like more and more people are starting to migrate or bias towards that uh, method of consuming content. Um, of course, you know, linear is still an incredibly powerful uh, uh, channel, but uh, I think some of the more exciting things in the near term in programmatic television will be on that left-hand side of the spectrum. Just generally speaking, I mean, I think data inside the programmatic ecosystem is frankly probably underutilized. Like, I wish we used more data. There's so much rich information out there, whether it's advertiser first-party data, publisher first-party data, third-party data sets. And as far as how we approach it as a, as a buying platform, we have a DMP where advertisers or agencies can bring their first-party data into our platform so they can activate against it. We also have a data marketplace where we bring in a number of third-party data sellers uh, to sell all of their segments to any of our partners. And so I think we've taken a, a very uh, agnostic approach in that we want people to bring more and more data into our platform so they can be smarter about the media that they're buying across the digital ecosystem. So I think there's nothing but excitement ahead in the world of data, and hopefully it's going to continue to be utilized even more and more as we go into the future. And so I think th there's probably, a, from our, our perspective, an underutilization today, and, and hopefully it's going to continue to grow, and, and every media buy has some element of data on it in the future. I think one of the most innovative, innovative trends in data is going to be cross-device and how we start to stitch the whole world together. I think this is really the marketer's dream, is how can I have a consistent conversation across multiple screens, make sure that I can frequency cap and have, have a, a very cohesive conversation with my consumer across multiple screens. So I think one of the more exciting developments over the next year, 12, 18, you know, 24 months is going to be just the evolution of cross-device and how that really comes to the forefront and more and more people are utilizing that to tell their story across multiple screens. As far as forward-looking trends that we see in the programmatic space, I think there's going to be uh, a lot of movement in digital audio in 2016. I think there's going to be more and more adoption in, uh, in the native channel from a programmatic perspective. I think that's going to really take hold in 2016. And then looking even further out, we've had really interesting conversations with digital out-of-home providers and other uh, kind of nascent channels that are, that are really, really exciting as we kind of look forward into the next year or two years uh, as far as how we continue to build out our omnichannel buying platform. So a lot of exciting stuff to come.